something like coming out of the pitch black roof hatch. Hey Casey, I'm Eric from Garden Fork. I saw your video about 368 and I got pretty excited about that. Welcome to 368. So, what? Hmm. And now this idea that I have this big, gigantic space that's not just about me, but something bigger than me, something that can maybe enable creators or like. And then I saw Jack Conte's video to you about 368. The thing that I loved about the way you pitched 368 was that it's bigger than you and it's collaborative, it's for the community, by the community. And that was even more inspiring. Well, I mean, you're both inspiring. Does that sound wrong? Anyway, and I thought, I need to make my own video for you, Casey. So I'm gonna do that right now. Are you ready? Here we go. There we go. So I make stuff and I bring along people for the ride. I call it eclectic DIY. It's all over the place. It's kind of like my brain. It's just like, this is neat, this is neat, this is neat. Make videos. You know, life isn't perfect. Neither is Garden Fork. Blows me away, but a Garden Fork fan made a compilation video when I hit the 100,000 subscriber mark. Seasoning cast iron. We're gonna make a boat out of one sheet of plywood, grilled cheese with egg in a hole, outdoor brick pizza oven. This is steak. I'll show you how to make a cold frame out of an old window, giant uh, super trellis with string beans. And welcome to the tasting lab. Urban beekeeping, harvesting garlic. How to make sauerkraut, how to hang an Ikea kitchen cabinet. Sap evaporator. What seems to really resonate with people is that I leave in the mistakes. I think you've said something similar in your videos, but if you're not making mistakes, you're not learning, right? Really smells like spray paint still. Two favorite phrases of mine, use what you got, and done is better than perfect. I mean, if you're 90% there, I think it's gonna work just fine. <laughs> it floats. Snappers. No, but I see some water coming through it. I've always been one of those people that wants to share really cool stuff. And before YouTube, I put out a zine. This is a little different than Garden Fork. Bunch of found art, just stuff that I thought was really interesting. And now I'm thinking, I should start publishing this again. There isn't really a typical Garden Fork viewer, but let's just say it's someone in a Midwestern suburb that's trying to do this thing, but something is holding them back. Then they go on YouTube and they find Garden Fork and they're like, yes, I can do that thing. Or at least try. They're like, hey, Eric can cut down a tree. I can cut down a tree. <laughs> All right, maybe not everyone should be cutting down trees. So you and I have a couple things in common. We both live in New York. You're in Manhattan, I'm in Brooklyn. We both have places upstate in Connecticut. We both fly drones. I have a podcast and you're gonna have one soon. You like skateboards, I like fire. That's really hot, my face is burning. But look at that, isn't that great? Flame. And 
and chainsaws. <laughs> Even though I spend half my time in a city with millions of people, I actually don't know that many YouTubers here. And I'd like to. One phrase which I didn't invent that I really like is if you don't ask, the answer is no. So what do you think? You, me, there? Make it a great day, alright? I'll see you later.